Hello Google Developers, hope you're doing well. This is Michael Rosario from Google Developer Group of Central Florida and we welcome you to our Code Lab session for Node.js developers to explore Google Cloud. And uh, today we're going to go through uh, one kind of sample uh, that we found was really kind of quick and simple but it would encourage you to do some exploration. I, on the problem of computer vision. So the problem is the following. Let's say we have pictures like, like this, where we just kind of want to see what's in the image. Obviously, as human beings, we can parse this image and see, hey, we're probably in a football stadium, playing American football, and um, we count the people. We could maybe even look at this image and recognize these are people uh, playing music, you know, um, and so how do we get a computer to do that? That's the problem. So uh, we're going to use the power of Google Cloud Platform to uh, get uh, your Node.js code uh, answering these types of questions. So uh, we're going to start off by going to github.com slash Google APIs. And then you're going to go to Node.js-Vision. There's a really nice quick start that doesn't take a lot of time. And we're going to crawl through that. And kind of lays out some of the very basic steps. So uh, we're going to go to our uh, Google Cloud Platform console console.cloud.google.com you'll need to log in and of course uh, kind of get a few things set up on your own and you will also need to enable billing uh, for for in order to do these code labs Totally promise you, you're not going to spend like more than cents or, you know, maybe a dollar or something like that by going through these code labs. But uh, step one is really just to set up a project. Um, and then we're going to, and I, actually, I've kind of done that piece already. So you can click this new project button and generate a new project. I'm going to select the Cloud Vision project they have here and I think we're ready for our next step so we've already enabled billing for uh, Google Cloud Vision so if we go back to our console we're going to search for Cloud Vision API yep, that's the thing I want you could also get to that using the sidebar over here scroll all the way to the bottom here's all your artificial intelligence pre-trained um, machine learning stuff so we're just going to leverage uh, that so again search for Google Cloud Vision API and I've already enabled this I believe but I can also disable it Next step, we need some way to authenticate our Node.js code to Google. And there's several ways to go about that, but we're going to do the most simple one where we just set up a service account. So I'm going to follow the link here. You can either do this via GCP command line or we're going to use the GCP console. So just click the button. So for my project, Cloud Vision Rosario, Cloud Vision Rosario service account, I'm going to um, get my secrets uh, via JSON. 
and that's going to produce just a JSON file that I can download and incorporate into my project. So I'll go to my downloads directory. Copy that file into my project area. Now I'm going to do one other step. I'll show you this in Visual Studio Code. I have all the files in my project um, now are visible in Visual Studio Code. Under the setup uh, script here, I'm just setting an environment variable pointing at cloud-vision.json, which is this file. And again, that, that JSON file contains secrets that enable us to authenticate uh, to Google and leverage a Cloud Vision API. So we're just going to run that script. Okay, um, next step really is just to kind of uh, this code it's not a lot there but we're going to copy it into our program and make some adjustments we'll point this at a picture of our choosing and we will leverage the label annotation label detection API and get label annotations as results which will display to the console So thing one in our case is a football team. So let's go ahead and configure our program to explore thing one.jpg. So let's go ahead and run our node code. Google says it is a sports venue, probably American football, sports team, football players, somewhere in there. Pretty cool. So let's look at another image just to test it. Um, so if we do thing four, which is some kind of band, what does Google say? I haven't tested this yet. Hopefully Google gives us some good answers. Okay, that's saved. Going back to rerun my program here. It's identified. Yes, it uh, involves music, musicians. It's black and white. And there's guitars in the image. So that's pretty powerful that your software, whether it's a new uh, app or it's an Angular app or react app things that you build in node.js can kind of leverage this pre-trained machine intelligence and do it cheaply so definitely invite you if you're interested in the computer vision piece you can continue exploring this github library there's um, more um, details that you can extract from this library. For instance, the confidence factors that Google has con uh, connected to each label annotation. Uh, if you, it detects faces, it, uh, there's uh, ways to use this API to actually get emotional sentiment. If you go back to our meetup page for this event, at meetup.com slash gdg dash central dash florida and then you'll find this event for you we've selected out a number of other uh, really brief code labs that 
will probably take you 20 to 40 minutes kind of do this as a group uh, or you know kind of pair program or do it solo but this one is basically on how to host a node uh, JS Express app on Google Cloud it's pretty nice and simple let's say you're really interested in maybe getting some emotional sentiments on social media posts or on uh, random text that is in your business um, you can access the natural language processing API of Google to explore um, text matter. This Node.js Vision API is the API that we explored. We also have a tutorial on just getting started with uh, Firebase functions. This is kind of very similar to uh, AWS Lambda except, uh, you know, under Google's infrastructure. So that's the activities for today. And just also want to give a shout out to something coming up in January that you want to put on your calendars. DevFest Florida, January 19th. It's going to be a really, really awesome party of uh, 300 to 400 developers kind of exploring um, top topics on web, mobile, and machine learning, and IoT, and lots of other cool stuff. So we definitely encourage you to check out um, and uh, buy a ticket early um, while they're still cheap. And uh, we really would love to have you join us. So thank you for your time and happy hacking.